how do you maintain majority control with investors? So there's a couple options here, and I think some of this is just kind of misconceptions about stuff. So um, for starters, we like to have majority ownership. So pretty much everybody that we work with, that's what we're working towards is getting them um, into something with majority ownership and how to do that. So uh, for example, you bring in somebody and the investor, like our deal and what we pretty much always do is we take 70%, investor takes 30%. And, and that's uh, that's kind of how we've rolled. And essentially what you do is you, you can do like a projected, um, you can project your value and cash flow into the future. So for example, if you're gonna get into land and then improve the land, the equity, the equity is going to increase, the value of that property is going to increase over time. So you can lay out a detailed spreadsheet of exactly how you're going to invest that money and your time into doing that to create a, a you know, higher value asset. And then when you go and you talk to somebody and you know a lot of people think, oh, like they have, to they have time and that, or sorry, they have the investor has money and, and that's worth something. And then you think we have to go ask for the money. That's not really what it is. It's actually a trade. You, it's, it's an even playing field because you have the time Time and the knowledge to actually make this happen which is more valuable than money so when you display how you're going to do that and you just run the numbers it just all punches out in a spreadsheet in the numbers and we give you that so we right now you can get our business plan financial projections and pitch deck for free all pre-filled out with all that stuff demonstrated in it and then there's like there's instructions on how you can edit that to make it unique to your project and your numbers and your vision and all that stuff and um, it uh yeah it, all it is is just numbers and being able to learn how to evaluate your knowledge and time um and then be able to demonstrate that and and there you go and that's how you keep majority however the control side doesn't always need majority so for example you could sell 99 percent uh equity in your vision or project and still maintain majority control you just have that as a term in your investment agreement that you have full control over that um, or in your notice of articles or shareholders agreement or whatever it might be uh, so there's always options you don't need to own all of that like you could sell that we for some whatever reason we just like doing the 70 30 kind of split uh, but there is unlimited options and we give you the pros and cons of each of them and, and uh, you know an introduction to more and whatnot in the program so that you can kind of just see where you're at and a lot of that just comes down to uh, the different negotiations and whatnot when you're in that process.